Chapter 8, Finale, Part 2 After his seeming defeat by Solomon, Red had reconstructed his body into his gigantic final form, transporting us to a blazing inferno in the process. It was reminiscent of our first encounter, except now the scenery, much like the true power of Red, had become very real. The music had erupted into a loud blaring sound, a furious drum of death. Faced against Red and insane amount of health, my own demise. Solomon was my strongest monster, but he never, not even he stood a chance. It was like trying to fight a mountain. Within seconds, Solomon was overpowered and dropped to the floor. When Red crushed him to death underfoot, underneath his foot, the sadistic demon took his time as he snapped Solomon's vertebrae and ribs like dry brittle twigs. I could tell he was enjoying our pain. This is hopeless. I'm a dead man. I had no choice but to send another monster to its death. We were all going to die. I only hoped they would forgive me. After decreasing Red's health by a minuscule amount, Angiris was also obliterated. Red unleashed a hail of blazing hot needles into his face until he collapsed. Another moment of unspeakable agony. The nothingness as my ally faded away. I asked Red how he knew my name. And then he said it. <laughs> I killed Melissa! For years, she was being tortured by something nobody understood. Now, I knew what it was. Now I understood why I was mocked about Melissa's death and how the game knew about it. Because he knew about it. Because he was the one responsible. And this time, he was going to kill me. Send your last monster. I'll end this futile struggle. Those taken back to the boards to send Godzilla to his final stand. Barely anything was left on the board, just Godzilla and Red's icons and... The fifth monster. In the midst of everything that was happening, I, I had completely forgotten about it. I tried yet again to select it. I cursed, I, I begged, I screamed at it to do something, anything to help me. To no avail. There was only one thing to do. I knew Godzilla didn't stand any more of a chance than the rest did. But maybe now that all the other monsters were gone, the, the fifth monster would, would find, might finally awaken. I managed to get to the creature's icon selected, I, and I pressed the A button as fast as I could. The, the icon started to shake as if 
They were desperately trying to move. It was then that Red decided that he was done playing fair. And before I could activate the monster, he went for the killing blow. Paralyzing my heart. My hands started to become numb and unfeeling. But even as my vision was fading away, I still tried to press the A button. Game over! Red Shirley was breaking one of his rules, but he must have thought that if he could kill me quickly, then it would be too late for any consequences to matter. He would have won. He was wrong. Game over! Game over! Game over! Red's power was being challenged by another force. It prevented him from killing me. And then when I regained my vision, saw a familiar sight. Heck, you don't have much time. Who are you? You already know me. I am Melissa. What? How is that possible? Rhea told me that he killed you. It it's true. Even after death, he tortures me. If you can't stop him, he'll do the same to you. How will I be able to stop him now? I can't find Red, but there is one who can. I will release him from Red's grasp. Don't give up. I love you. Her words stirred something inside me. I wasn't going to die like this. And I had more to fight. I had more to fight her for. I, than just my own life. I had to fight to save Melissa and the world she inhabits. With her help, the final monster was finally unleashed. It was time to end this. Once and for all, together, we would take this damned hell spawn out of existence. Asius was by far the strongest playable monster in the game. He had to be if we were to have any chance of surviving. His punch involved turning his hands into blades, which caused tremendous damage. But Red had more than enough life to spare. In the end, it would come down to pure skill. With one final strike, Red was destroyed. His body disintegrated and sank below accompanied by a soar of triumphant music. Slowly, the paralysis wore off. And I was able to stand again. We had done it. Melissa's death had been avenged. And I felt overwhelming happiness until I remembered all the death and pain that led up to this point. All the monsters who had fought and died. I was about to mourn them, but... but the game had yet to conclude. <laughs> Tears of joy streamed down my face. And I broke down crying. I cried harder than I had in several years, maybe in my whole life. All I'd been through, all I'd discovered, and now the game was coming to an end. But before she and the others left, Melissa had something to tell me. You have saved us, and we are forever grateful. 
We'll be together again someday.